Okay. So, um, what I want to do today is I want to um, show some feedback. Um, when we fight in the boss, the bosses, um, I got a, a few people mentioning this. I mean, I'm not going to say complaining, but you know, like. Be sure to include some sort of um, some sort of feedback or information on a screen to know how much is left to kill the boss. Uh, which is a, a, it's something I don't really think is that necessary. Uh, I think it adds to the game uh, because basically, yeah, it's, it is a bit like. Um, it, it has tension, right? Some pressure because you don't know how much is left, and you know it could be that that you know it's difficult. You don't know how much you need to be shooting to the to the enemy, um, and yeah, I think it it helps the game basically because you know you get nervous you you can get killed and whatnot so so let's okay we're using the nato cartridge at the moment let's use that so i'm going to start the, the game testing the first boss And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse this space here uh, when we use it to show the chain information uh, because basically we're not using that uh, when the boss is on. So that's the only space I have because the hood is okay, it's complicated, right? But Okay, so so basically, okay, actually, let's take a look at it in the in Winnet, for example. And for that, I need a different type of cartridge. So let's take a look at Winnet. I recall correctly. Yes. Okay. So if we do something here. So registers, I think it was. And we show internal highlight. So basically Oh but it doesn't show the pointer. Well that's a shame. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's go back to the other one. Even if we don't see that, I can explain it anyway. So basically, the thing is, um, I'm doing a screen split here. Uh, so, oh my memory, why is that? Machine pause. So, the heart here is. So basically, the, the 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 play area is the only one that is scrolling, and this is a different screen. So this is a one memory address, and the hard is in a different memory address. So currently, anything that is on the on the playing area, if it's not scrolling because it's background, I need to redraw all the time, every frame. So um, that would be kind of expensive if I need to. Uh, you know, like a bar with a hit or something on top. So, bottom line, I need to use the hood, the, the bit at the bottom. Um, and the only space I have left, because I didn't design the hut thinking that I was going to show information about the boss, well, it's this area here, where is the chain uh, information. And lucky for us, I think it's going to fit and it's going to be super nice. So, this is where I draw the hut. 
and basically I use a flag telling me which bits I need to update if anything so uh, we can use the chain one and basically say if boss then we will do something Oops. otherwise I'm, I used to format now differently and I'm not even not used okay cool so if there is a boss uh, we will do something otherwise it's a regular behavior and for this what we're going to do is probably use this one um, and basically we don't need to do yeah this is a flag for when we do the chains and the chains need to be removed blah 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 whatever we don't need that uh, instead what we're going to do is so we have chain here and I think what we can do is just say boss then X and then we can show the number of hits and basically we can update those um, and we can actually copy this here Oh, I see what I'm doing here. Yeah, because obviously it's kind of a waste if I need to. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me see. Yeah, if I need to draw boss, you know, this text plus the number every time, it's a little bit more expensive, right? That just drawing the number because all this block here is never going to change um, I'm not sure if that's probably too much um, but let's take a look what we have here so so the boss in it well it's going to set the flag boss to 1 I mean, we can just select this. So, do it. Okay, not like that. So, if we need to draw the label, then we draw the label, and then we do not need to draw that again because I set the flag to zero. And then it's not changed. What are we going to draw? is something B hits and B hits it is defined in boss just include here right. cool so yeah and it's going to be two digits in B and we're going to draw that in in to be 16 so it's going to be one two three four five seven and it's i never remember how this works i think it's it's two pixels uh it's two pixels per byte right because it's four bits bits per pixel so if it's seven it should be 14 so that is going to be 30 and when I try it it's not going to work because it's going to be in the wrong place but for now it's going to be okay so when we init the boss we're going to do chain label draw then put Dirty, we need to do a chain, and that's it. Because in the game loop, it will detect that there is something to update in the hut, and it will do this. It will do the draw. Cool. Um, 
so this is defined in game dot h which we're using here so I should compile and let's take a look and it's wrong by two characters see I don't I don't know how this works <laughs> it's going to be 28 28 26 no it's going to be 26 and obviously the color for the test text is not right and and I don't have I don't have give open so now we have to open it and I need to fix it because you can't see it properly. Let me see how can we do that. Uh, so I think I have. Let's click here the shoulder size. I didn't because it was maximized. And okay. Cool. That should be all right now. Okay, so yeah, there you go. So you can see that now. So we don't really need this because this is a, the palette. So I think we're going to use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. Okay, we can do 5, 5. This, no, what I wrote. 5, 5. And 1, 2, 3, and 4. Three, no, and six. It's a little bit of highlight. Maybe let's try that. Cool. I think it looks. Fine. Actually, it looks better than I was expecting. Okay, so uh, 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 obviously, obviously, we need to update when there is a boss hit. We need to say that it's not only the score. We also need to do. We need to data chain, right? Yes, it works. Actually, the boss has music. Let's stop the background so we can only use the music. This is the music. Yeah, yeah, we're working on the music already. Uh, so, what is going to happen when we get to zero? Uh, it works. Hmm. But then, what is going to happen in the next stage? Okay, so that means that here there's something we need to do <laughs> because next stage, hot dirty, hot all, and we need to we need to force rid of the chain label. Okay, uh, let's do something. Let's let's. Mm, where is that? Okay, so let's play the full stage. Well, I'm not going to play the full stage, but 
uh, if I I'm fine testing the boss, we're not going to see if that works. So we can just fast forward. Until the end. Well, this is the first stage. Maybe we will maybe be some stuff. So we can see the full effect of completing the stage. I mean, obviously, I'm not starting with the. I think I have weapon at 6, level 6, power 6, which is kind of strong already. I'm not sure how many. I mean, the chains work just fine. Okay. I think it works. I didn't know what to do. I was thinking maybe I could have uh, power bar or something. Um. Do I like the boss to zero to be in there? Yeah, okay. And then change the goal past this goes back to zero. Okay. Oh, not that one. Let's do the next boss. Just to see how it looks. Oh, I got a power up! <laughs> you go, there you go. Yeah, I still need to put some music on the stages, but. I mean, so far, yeah, the music is always difficult, but yeah, it's been a while since the last game, so. Okay, so this now is 24. So I started with the game over, the music, and the jingle that you get when you. I mean, I'm using a immunerability check, check cheat, so obviously it's not going to give me, but okay. Do -do 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 -do. Wow, I did kill a lot. Perfect. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, this looks, looks great. That was super easy. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed, actually. Um, let's take a look at the code, shall we? So, so we prepare the HUD when we need the boss. When the boss is hit, we also update the chain. I mean, it's not the chain, but yeah, it's the same flag. Um, here, this is going to add a little bit, but not a lot, because it's just checking, a, checking for a bite, right? So, it's not a big deal, really. Oh, the dip looks funny, but yeah, cool. Yeah, it's this, this, this piece of code here. I think it's fine. This is fine. And next stage, we also need to ensure that the level is, and this probably doesn't need to be here. But. Okay, so we want to keep this one, this one, this one. Uh, wait, not this one. So, there you go. Is it busy? Can't believe it. Twenty minutes. This is the the most efficient stream I have I have ever done. Cool. So that's basically what I have planned to do. I didn't know it was going to be that easy. Let's take a look again. Let's take a look in, um, in a different emulator.
Hmm. Super quick, super clean. Looks really good. Alright, okay, so this is retro building machine. I mean, the chains rested and everything is, is absolutely oh but this one doesn't i don't know how to do fast forward can i actually do that with this one yeah i can it's kind of the same yeah this simulator is really good but um because it has a lot of filters filters of things I, I don't know why but when i'm using obs it kind of struggles a little bit um so I tend to use ooh I just I missed that one. I tend to use more uh, the other one. It's kind of cheaper, I, I guess. The one. Yeah, I mean, um, well, I mean, looking at the score here now, they okay, 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 okay. We can do something here. Uh, we can use. Three on the bottom, which is not a big difference, but it should be consistent with with the score here and these numbers as well. So let's do a little bit of pew 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 pew. pew. Yeah, anyway, so music. Um, I started with, uh, which is not the way I do things usually. I kind of prefer going with the, ooh, the wig. I kind of prefer going to the, uh, yeah, I think it's not a big difference, but I think it's just to be consistent with the, with the others. Um, perhaps it's kind of funny because of the way the B is, mm. what I mean is, I don't remember how, how big is this font, let's take a look, font is actually, where are you font, the font is 8 pixels tall and is 4 pieces wide. So, I mean, I don't have a lot of pixels to actually show anything. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense that the B is kind of funny. I'm not sure how this is going to look. Can I change things here? No, I can't. It doesn't look amazing, uh, but it doesn't look bad either. And it's consistent with the others. Uh, Can I use a different color? Because maybe this is too dark. Let's try purple. Mm, and let's go directly to the box, please. that brown that's the perfect color for it unless we make it flat just red does it have to be red stage so 
Okay, interesting. Six, eleven, five. Let's look at that. Yeah, it's more readable. Still not beautiful, though. Um, yeah, but it's more readable. Perhaps six. It is purple. So. Eleven. Oh, no, I'm using eleven already. Okay, so let's try 13. It's going to look weird. I think it's good. Because that's yellow. Can we don't look at it right now. Ah, no. <laughs> it looks electric now. Uh, no, it's 14. Sorry. Um, actually. Thinking about it, it could be greens as well. Um, so Eric, uh, the guy that uh, made the made the the background screen here, Eric, yeah, that's in the crazy. He use brown, red, and pink, which looks very nice, actually, but. I don't know, it looks okay. I mean, I like it to use to look red because it's kind of like it's the boss, right? Like danger. Yeah. One looks better, it's more readable. It's more readable for sure. Let's do another test. CBC with Dandinator. And here, although I've been told that this palette emulation is not very good. I mean, it's also smaller, but. Can I make it bigger? This is the skylines. Yeah, but I want to keep the Casper ratio. I, don't know. I mean, I can try to make full screen. I don't know how it's going to look. Yeah, I think those colors are fine. Although, again, I've been told that this green emulation for the green screen is not great. The bright palette looks perfect. And I guess the dark palette is the one that may look, yeah, like that. And the monochrome still looks fine. It looks pretty good, actually. I think I'm going to change that. I think it's more readable and again the problem I think is because of the B that brown at least to my eyes I'm not sure I will probably need to keep it a go in the on the CRT with uh, the actual Amsterdam CPC to see how it looks uh, because it might look just fine I mean RBM has so my filters, but I usually disable that when I'm testing. Uh, let's take a look, see if we can. 
I can run this. This is what I'm running, I believe. So now, uh, say no. Okay, there you go. And it's going to, I need to remove NS. <laughs> what? That's not what we wanted. Suddenly, the Mohan twins. There you go. Uh, see here? No, it's going to be Mohan twins again. <laughs> there you go, Mohan twins. And really good. Okay, so I think it's in BL. There you go. Okay, so this has already some funny filters going on, right? With the ghosting from the CRT and all that stuff. And then we can do some tweaks here. So, yeah, you can try things here. CRT flat. Uh, CRT composite. Ooh, look at that! That's how it looks on the address. Seriously? I mean, it kind of... I don't know. I mean, I, I, I play it in the screen. One of my friends... Stop the music, because I want to listen to it. Um, so probably... The costing is something... Oh no, that's the beam. Yeah, there is some funny uh, flicker. There you go. I don't remember all those things being in the screen. Yeah, but this may be kind of look more like like I remember the green screen. Maybe. Let's look at the red and white. That's pretty cool. And I believe that the, the next version is going to be even better than this. It's been in, I think it's in beta now, beta or alpha. It's been in development for a long time. This is a great emulator, by the way. Um, I don't know, something like this. Probably without beam and without flicker. So this may be closer to where it looks in the, the CRT. And I think it's super readable, so. See, this green here is kind of borderline. Cool. Well, this is what I was planning to do today, to be honest. I uh, didn't think about anything else. There are a couple of things I want to do as well. Because... Uh, um, the high score they are showing, but I still don't know what to implement that. So I guess um, after the game over, okay, so let's go to player and see what this stuff. I should probably have these flags in the make But I've been a little bit lazy and I don't have them. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, can I be killed now? Yes, I can. But 
that's what we want, right? We want a game over. So shows game over. If it was not the first stage, for a few seconds we see we get the option to continue. So that's something I need to think about because you have a high score. Um, if you have a high score, it has to be, you know, the continue goal first. So if you continue, um, you start without the score. So you lose the high score. So the only way to enter the high score is when you get the game over and you don't continue. So it's the end of the game. Now, how do we do that? I guess after the game over, we could be going to something like this. Probably without the credits. And then we draw the high score and we highlight the one that you are entering and then you know just the controller keys whatever up and down you change the letter maybe something like that yeah but still don't know i need to think about it before actually writing go probably so that's one thing uh and i think that's probably about the last thing in you know user interface kind of boring stuff that i need to do um because everything else is done i think i mean the game has paused you can pause the game actually you can pause the game you don't need to use the emulator oh interesting wait a minute Oh, that's good. I didn't know that was working. So it passes the, the music is going to be paused when you press the pause. Just the way it should be. Ah, we found the bug. There you go. Excellent. I like testing things. Okay, so the problem with this is that it's related to the thing we're doing, actually. So, so we put the pause. Oh. I see. It's because I did this wrong. Oopsie. This is wrong. So, because I need all the flags to zero probably somewhere. Do the flag with zero to one. So one two, C. There you go. Fixed. So now we get the boss, and when do the boss, the boss is back. Perfect. See. Anyway, so yes, uh, I think that's a high score table. I need to finish that. But I think the most important thing now is get the music for the three stages I have. Um, need to think what I'm going to do with the menu because the menu has some tricky bits. 
Okay, so let's commit this. Um, so Big packet is super slow. Now you know why it is my private repo. <laughs> super slow. Um, what I was going to do? Okay, right. Uh, I just forgot completely. Oh yeah, the menu. Right. So basically, uh, the menu music is kind of tricky because it's not just making a tune and that's it, that it loops. The tune has to be specifically this long. So, you know, the music should be playing, but it has to end. I can't loop, I can't loop the music because we show the high scores twice and then it jumps into the demo. In the demo, you have the music of the stage. So, yeah, I don't know what to do with the music of the menu, you know, of the title screen, but I need to do something that it doesn't break the demo it's on itself. Um, so I need to think how to do that. So basically, uh, title screen, game over, three stages. That is what I want to finish and how to be clear before I continue with the two stages that are, are left. And after that, it's likely to be finished game. Well, after testing. Cool, well, I'm going to leave it here. Um, short session, uh, but it's kind of early, so I can do other things after this. So, bye.